What's that? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about it. playoffs. You kidding me? Sup, guys? It's Chris here, back in the building with the Week Nine NFL playoff picture. So, guys, as we are approaching the halfway mark of this year's NFL season, I thought I'll give you guys the rundown of who is currently in a playoff position, who's on the fringes or on the bubble, and who is not making it. So as you guys can see on my Excel spreadsheet, I've got the seven teams that are in a playoff position and the five teams that are on the cusp or on the bubble of a playoff position, but aren't quite making it. But this year's NFL playoffs are gonna be a little bit different from the previous years. Why do I say that? Because there are not six, but seven teams this time round. So first and foremost, I think it's best to explain this year's playoff format so all four division winners as per usual in previous years would qualify automatically for the 2020 NFL playoffs and the three teams with the best record outside of the division winners will be wild cards and they'll be seeded fifth to seventh depending on whose record is best with fifth being the best wild card record seventh being the worst. Like in previous years, the seventh seed means that the division winner with the second best record or the second seed will have to play in wildcard weekend. As a result, only the team that finishes first with the best record will have the weekend off and automatically advance to the NFL divisional round. This means is that the second seed will play the seventh seed in wildcard weekend, whilst in previous years, pretty much almost a follow on that the third seed will play the sixth seed and then the fourth seed will play the fifth seed. Depending on who makes it through, wildcard weekend will go and play the divisional round. So it could be a team that is high as the fourth seed or as low as the seventh seed. But the lowest seed remaining will play the highest seed left remaining and then the other game will pretty much fall into place depending on who is left as you guys can see on the possible game combinations on the screen in the bottom left on my Excel spreadsheet. After the divisional round, the winners of the two divisional round games will face off in the conference championships to decide who would be each conference's representative ahead of the Super Bowl. And then the two representatives of each conference will face off in the Super Bowl in February to decide who is this year's Super Bowl 55 champion. So, Whilst I'm here, I think it's best to explain what do each bits and pieces on my Excel spreadsheet mean. So first and foremost, as you can see in the gold are the top seeds in each conference, in which case it is the undefeated Pittsburgh Steelers and Russell Wilson's Seattle Seahawks, who both currently hold the driving seats to the divisional round. Teams that are seeded second through fourth are the current divisional leaders although later on in the season when they've clinched the division I will put that on the spreadsheet but they are the current divisional leaders at this moment in time and regardless if they have a losing record or not if they do have a losing record they will still make the playoffs regardless of what other record teams have in other divisions as long as you lead your division you make the playoffs automatically. The teams that are highlighted in rust orange are this year's wild cards as it stands obviously because it's only week nine but they are seeded fifth to seventh whilst the numbers eight through to twelve are the teams that are on the cusp of playoff position but do not occupy a playoff position as of yet but that could change in the coming weeks. Hypothetically speaking if the NFL season was to end today that would be the current playoffs as they are right now with the Steelers and the Seahawks occupying the top spots in the AFC and NFC respectively. On another note, if the playoffs were to play out with the current 14 teams that are occupying playoff spots, I would still think that the Steelers would somehow against all the odds will win it all with the Seahawks being the NFC representative in this year's Super Bowl because as much as I do like Patrick Mahomes, but I have to say I'm really liking Big Ben this season, hence why the Steelers are undefeated. So if I was to predict 
a Super Bowl, which would happen, well, hypothetically, if it was to happen here and now, I would put my money on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Obviously, before the actual Super Bowl itself, with my current predicted wildcard games, to be honest with you, I could see all but two division winners win their wildcard games. On the AFC side of things, I could see both the Chiefs and the Bills making their way through their wildcard games, but I could see the Colts faltering and Lamar Jackson and the Ravens beating the Colts. Anyways, on the NFC side of affairs, I expect the Buccaneers and the Packers to get through their hypothetical wildcard games if there were the 2020 NFL playoffs here and now. But in the Eagles-Cardinals games, well, I expect the Eagles to lose because after all, it is the NFC least this year and outside of the NFC East's division game, by the way, the NFC East is the proper name of the division, the NFC least is what is being called among pundits, including fans like myself because of how poor the division is this year. But either way, the Cardinals, I think, would handsomely beat any NFC East team, let alone the Eagles, maybe even the Cowboys, maybe even the Giants, if we have a chance. But based on my current wildcard standings, if the Cardinals were to take on the Eagles, well, put it this way, Cardinals will win handsomely, fair and square, nothing more needs to be said after that because no NFC East representative is making a deep playoff run. Moving further on in my fantasy NFL playoff prediction, obviously the Steelers would take on the Ravens and the Chiefs would take on the Bills. Well, I'd expect the Steelers and the Chiefs to win their games. Meanwhile, on the NFC fantasy predictions, I'd expect the Seahawks to beat their division rivals, the Cardinals, and the Buccaneers to beat the Packers. And then last but not least, on my fantasy conference championships and fantasy Super Bowl, I'd expect the Steelers to beat the Chiefs in the AFC Championship game, and I'd expect the Seahawks to beat the Buccaneers in the NFC Championship game, with the Steelers winning it all, winning Super Bowl 55, and taking home their seventh franchise title. But anyways, after all that fantasy talk, let's move back to the present day and let's start with the AFC current standings. So on the AFC side of things, I do think the playoff standings will be relatively similar as they are today. But I am going to put it in there though that I think the Titans, they might snatch away the AFC South title away from the Colts at this very moment in time. And I don't think the Browns will make this year's playoffs and the teams will replace them controversially but I think I'm going to say the Raiders because I think they've been on relatively good momentum at the minute and I think that will continue into the season although I don't think they'll make a deep playoff run but I think the Raiders will take one of the last remaining wildcard spots in the AFC. NFC wise I don't see much change happening either but I am going to say this though that I could see the Tampa Bay Buccaneers faltering down the stretch and the Packers to take the second seed in the NFC. But I am also going to put it in there that I could see the Rams making the playoffs and making a late run. And the team they will replace, the Chicago Bears, because I have to say, I'm not quite convinced by the Chicago Bears at the minute, but I could be proven wrong. And Nick Foles and the Bears, or even Mitchell Trubisky and the Bears, could somehow lead the Bears into the playoffs and somehow hold on for that final wildcard spot. So there we have it, guys. That is the Week 9 NFL playoff picture. But I do want to make it clear, though, guys, and I haven't stressed this enough, that these are fantasy predictions. So obviously, they haven't played out in real time. But what I'm interested to know is, what do you guys think will happen in this year's NFL playoffs? Comment down below to tell me what you guys think. But... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to check out my week nine NFL predictions, they are right here. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel right here. And until next week, guys, peace out.